Summer has been here, we've had a good garden in the, in the summer, but now it's time to turn our attention to fall planting. The tools I use are a tiller, a garden fork, a rake, and a hoe. First use the tiller to till the valleys between the rows. This is mostly for weed control. To prepare a row, first use a garden fork to loosen soil and remove the weeds. I'm leaving these arugula plants in place because they're cold hardy. Next, use a rake to shape the row. Now I, I usually use a row about 3 inches higher than the valley and about 12 inches wide on top. Next, use a hoe to make furrows on top of the rows. I use two furrows for small plants. These are the seeds I'm going to plant. Detroit red beets and Chinese broccoli. Okay, this is Detroit red and it's got little seeds inside. They're, they're not round, they're, they're more kind of uh, fuzzy if you will. You can see like this. And so you take these seeds and drop them in there. Try to just uh, as best you can meter the seeds out about one every couple of inches. Uh, these we don't want them to grow too close together. If they do they'll merge into one big group. Next use a rake to fill in the furrows and flatten the row top. Then come back with the rake and tamp it vertically, just tamp it down to ensure good contact between the seed and the soil. And lastly, make sure the seeds have good moisture. In this case, it's already rained, so uh, the soil is moist and I don't need to water. When finished, replace the irrigation tubing on top of the row and put markers to mark what is planted. Here are some winter onions about ready to harvest and then we have another row of other plants just getting started.